you guys love fox bodies that's why you're watching my channel could you imagine having your perfect fox body built exactly the way you want it and then a drunk driver hits it on your birthday no less well obviously not this one but there is a story this is not the original car and we're going to talk about it right here on the channel today hello and welcome to gearhead 704 i'm matt and guys we are still here at mustang week but i got a car review for you here and it's one that you guys probably have heard about kona staying and last year at mustang week something happened but guess what he's got another car here i'm gonna go ahead introduce the owner and his friend joe is here as well brian welcome to the channel aka kona stay hey how you doing good and look you're here with a car yeah. <laughs> it took a long time to get this car here but last year you had a different one right i did it's also a notch back same engine a couple other little mods but uh nothing in comparison to what you see here today right you've done a lot of work and guys we're gonna get all into that but what happened basically last year i'm gonna let Joey fill you in because I believe Brian it, it happened on your birthday right? It did. Okay. It on my birthday. So Joey let, let us know what kind of went down there. So unfortunately like I said this was on his birthday. My buddy here got a little under the weather at Broadway. <laughs> under the weather just, just a little bit of fun on his just, birthday just right? I mean I've never done that so anyway but go ahead. He handed us the keys no problem. Left his car actually sitting at Broadway while we came back to yeah. bedtime. A little rest, a little rest. Had some rest. His birthday, he was past that, what, 8 o'clock? He was gone on his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been a fun birthday, actually. <laughs> yeah. I got video, but that's another story. We came back. Literally, our other buddy dropped me off. I started the car up, yep. let it warm up. Literally turned through the parking lot, got up to a stop sign. Next thing I know, I heard tire screeching. I happened just to glance in the rear view to see the white GMC kicking sideways. Yeah. And Slam right past in the oh. car for us. You know, I was in shock. It, it took me a good 15 minutes. There's many people running over and, you know, make sure I was all right. But they just, the guy backed up, of course, as everybody sent in the video and, you know, flipped me as he was leaving and rolled out. The hardest thing was having to decide to wake up my best friend and just tell him that his dream car that he's been working on for years and years has just been totaled by a drunk driver or wait till the following morning let social media tell him so right because i remember it was it was kind of blowing up at that time you know but basically so joey you decided to go ahead and and bite the bullet and let him know brian what what did you think on your birthday night i didn't i didn't believe anything <laughs> anybody was telling me no i thought it was a really bad birthday really break. bad birthday break yeah, <laughs> the first thing he told me so i want to see it i was like man we only have one car and it has like hardly a back seat in it yeah so all three of us piled up in a bus you know and <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you I did? It. Yeah. Showed back up at Broadway uh, at the beach yeah. and they had a cover on it and they pulled the cover off and then that's when I knew it was for real. Yeah. And, yeah, it was, it was devastating. Absolutely. I mean, it was the talk of Mustang Week, unfortunately, last year. But the cool thing about it, guys, and we're going to get into the new build, is Brian's had a lot of support for what you had today, right? Yeah, quite a few vendors. I mean, even before Mustang Week ended, yeah. came forward and showed me some opportunities with uh, some parts uh, I was able yeah. to throw in a car. And, and to clarify, you weren't asking for any of that. These people reached out to you. Yeah, correct. Yeah. There's a lot of social media presence down at Mustang Week for you know, LMR, NPD, Stiffers, you name it. And something like this is not going to go unnoticed. Yeah. Um, I think because of the nature of the accident, it was just a regular accident, I think it would have been completely yeah. different. But it was a DUI at Broadway at the beach wasn't even another Mustang. The community just, just wanted to step in and help out. How'd you find this one? I believe it was Tom Clark had reached out to me about an individual down south that had possibly an available body for me to pick up to do a rebuild. And I reached out to Ernest Miller. Ernest Miller had his car sitting, I believe, in the in the woods. Just sitting at, sitting out in the woods, wow. He sent me some photos and Joey went and picked it up for me and I came down and the rest is history. Yeah, what year was it actually? 89. 89, I guess it still is, but I say was it because it's changed so much. Quite the transformation in eight months since then.
So that's a great look at the car, what we're talking about, but I went ahead, had him open up the engine bay because let's just start right here. The really cool thing is, you, like you were saying, this engine is from your other car, right? Yeah, correct. So I just had it built by Ashcraft Speed Marine up in Shakora, PA. It's a big Ford 347 dart block. Oh, it's I mean, a dart block. Yeah, it's all the good stuff in here. So we're talking Cali's rod and cranks, diamond pistons, AFR heads, Howard's lifters, custom bullet cam, and of course the twin turbo charger. The previous car had a single turbo. Okay, so you twin turbo this one. Yeah, I mean, it's really built for it. And then I reached out to Pony Down Performance, built me a kit for, for the twin turbo. So. Oh, that's awesome. Now, what AFR heads is it? Like 205s or something? That's the AFR 185. 185? Yeah, okay. So we wanted to keep it more for street use. So right. Side state. I mean, it's a dark block, so that's good. I imagine it's putting out pretty good power twin turbo charge. Well, I mean, right now I'm still sitting on Terminator X tune, so I've okay. got a good tuner. Saigon Performance up in Butler, PA. He rode around me quite a bit. It's poly certified. The next step, actually, when I got back from Mustang Week last year was to take it to a dyno. This has never been on a dyno. Oh, it hasn't been on a dyno yet. Now, one other thing, guys, is all the work that you see on this car, we talked about people donating some parts, a couple parts here and there. Not every part, of course. Brian bought a lot of them, but all the actual work, including the paint, you did yourself, right? Correct, absolutely. It's my very first paint job. I've never painted. Are you another. kidding? I did not know that. That's okay. My very first paint job. So, <laughs> wow. I have a buddy down here right now that actually painted my previous coupe. Um, I was there when he did it. Uh, we did the previous one also in the garage, but I took everything that I saw that day previous and, and some research and I just applied it and said, you know what, I have to do everything myself. I've mm. got to prove this point. Wow. That is, um, that's more than I would want to bite off and chew, whatever you say but uh, wow I did not know that actually it's gorgeous the paint is absolutely you did a great job I appreciate it I mean I think it looks good I I did not paint my car myself <laughs> so if I could do this work though I would have I tell you I mean we need, still needs uh, quite a bit of work but you know to get down here to Mustang week I had it running painted semi-polished and, and everything but uh, this winter we'll spend a lot of time I'll get in there and block sand and clear get the rest of the orange peel out and it's yeah, I mean, there's always a, a little bit of what more wet sanding you could do, I guess. Oh, yeah, and yeah. No, it looks great. You made the event, which is a big thing. I mean, not even a year turnaround. Let's talk a little bit about the suspension because maybe we should show them because I noticed it does this up and down thing. Yeah, I'll have to have to turn on the key real quick. All right. And he actually, he just told me this, guys, he can actually control it from his phone. How cool is that? Oh, there we go. All right, so that's the drive it around. Yeah, so I have to connect to the Ride Pro, Ride Tech E5 app real quick. You call this one Kona as well for the color, right? Yep. I guess it's Kona 2 technically, but. This is, this is Kona 2, yeah. <laughs> start up, it goes to its normal ride height. I get around to those speed bumps. Does it remember where the speed bumps are at? Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so now we, we get over all those little bumps. <laughs> now it's like 4x4 four four mode. <laughs> that's cool. And then we have our drop down mode. Oh, that is cool. Awesome. It's about as low as it gets, so I, I even went and upgraded to the uh, ride height sensors on here. Make sure I get accurate ride height every time I start the car because the chassis is so stiff with all the stippler suspension work and everything on here. Uh, yeah, stipplers, you mentioned that. They donated a lot for the, su the suspension and chassis, right? Yeah, What's on here from stipplers? Yeah, their, their whole spider web brace system. Okay. Made, so yeah, they, they donated that. So very, very thankful. They actually came out and saw me the day that I was removing the car from Broadway at the beach. So we were loading it onto my truck and a couple gentlemen from stipplers came out and introduced themselves and said, hey, when you get, when you get another car, you call me because I want to send you this package. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, That's awesome. Right. Stipplers actually, they support my channel as well. And so they donated a cross member for my coop build. So I definitely appreciate them over there, but that's that's really cool that they did that. Now let's talk about the wheels a little bit. Uh, obviously you did four wheel disc. These are all bare brakes all the way around? All bare brakes, the 14 inch pro system. So we have uh, 14 inch rotors all the way around with the six piston calipers. It, it stops on a dime. I, I bet. Running, I am running manual brakes. Oh, okay. So I tell you, it's like I never got rid of the booster. That is awesome for manual okay. brakes. Well, you gotta compete with this brake dust. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, are these, uh, you said these are 18 by 10 in the back. Oh, yeah, what are the wheels again? BC Forge, the HC21 series. They were custom made to make sure that we cleared the calipers uh, and stuff all the way around. 18 by 8.5 in the front. 18 by 8.5 in the front, okay. You said you're on the Terminator X system. I already asked you about that. Yep. Yeah, now I see the manual brakes are. Now, this says Willwood up here. Is that just for the master cylinder? Yeah, I already, I already previously had the Willwood and I already. 
on the previous car I already had it routed with the brake lines. You can see that's the only brake lines that are visible in the whole in the whole build. So I just went back with what I already had. Yeah, everything's very tucked away. In fact, I skipped over this because you and I talked about it off camera, but when you got this car, you had to actually cut off part of it and re-weld. Kind of walk us through that real quick. Yeah, so when I started stripping the car down, I noticed a little bit of buckling in the frame rails. So the car was actually twisted a little bit to the passenger side. So I went ahead and drilled all the rivets out and re-welded on a whole new front section. Both aprons, I went with LMR's uh, smooth aprons. And, okay, uh, yeah, they look good. I actually went with the 91 I think they started at 91, the different radiator core support. So I had a different bracing in the front so I could use the tubular. Uh, okay. I changed that out as well. That's really my first time ever, ever digging into something. And you didn't do it like on a <laughs> lift or anything. That's the other thing, guys. Yeah, I don't have any follow his Instagram, but you do everything on jack stands. Yeah, I, I, I bought the tallest wheel cribs that Race Ramps makes. I just jacked it up, put it on there. I mean, all the welding, the uh, Raptor liner underneath and everything was all done on jack stands, basically. Mm -hmm. Jack stands and wheel grips. That is, that's amazing. That, listen, I got a bad back, so I'm not sure I can do that. Mine <laughs> but, is bad now. Yeah, now now you have one. <laughs> it's probably permanently just toast. <laughs> <laughs> is this a System X 2 intake? It is. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm actually getting for my uh, Nemesis build. That's very cool. How big are these turbos? These are twin 70 T4 turbos. Okay. Yeah. 70s, wow. Well, you're not running a whole lot of boost right now, right? No, I'm running max peak PSI. You gonna crank it up a little bit when you get dyno tuned, you think, or? It's very possible. Okay. Uh, we built the engine to sustain 15 PSI. Uh, yeah, I figured with a dart, it was pretty stout. All those forged internals you were talking about. How about on the uh, rear end back here? What do you got uh, set up? Is it still the 8.8, uh, I'm guessing? Let me see if I can actually raise the rear up for you. Oh, that'd be awesome. It's still an 8.8. .8. Oh, it's a nice uh, gas tank too. Has it got a fuel cell in it? No fuel cell, it's running the 0304 Cobra style gas tank and an 8-1000 pump. Okay, 0304 Cobra style gas tank. Uh, you can see under there, guys, hopefully some of the suspension work. Probably see it better than an angle, so I got the whole VMR package back here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna try to show you guys, it'll be a little tough. We got some pictures, we will put those in. What rear gears are you running? I'm a lot of 373, man. 373. I'm gonna have to step it down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> running out. I bet, quickly. yeah. With the turbo, you kind of want more of a 327 maybe might be a good one. What transmission you got in here? TKO 600. Oh, the, so came tried out, and true. That came out of the previous car, so it was, it was still full work more. Okay, yeah, actually, so what came out of the previous car? Was it just the engine and trans or? Engine, trans, the rear end, the rear seat. The Willwood master cylinder you're showing me? Willwood Res master cylinder. Yeah, yeah there's, there's very small things that came out of the okay. previous car, like one quarter window. <laughs> yeah, one quarter window. Yeah, so. yeah that's uh, one other thing real quick here, guys. The quarter windows, I mean, you got to follow his page because it's like drama. Your page, <laughs> all the crazy stuff that happens to you, man. So you had a quarter window fly, fly off. It wasn't this one, it was the it other was side? It actually the driver's side okay. on the way down here. So yeah, it was, I saw something out of the, the corner of my eye while I was towing it down here. And it, I thought it was a big old bird. As I looked, I, I realized one of my quarter windows literally just flew off the car. Oh man. Yeah, so. <laughs> Just need one other thing, right? Raise some caution out there, some uh, defective quarter windows. Yeah. Uh, so there is a, from what I was told, there should be a, a recall going out. Oh, uh, okay. So, how did you, I mean, you're already down here. How did you get one? Because obviously it's been replaced. I did put out a post and a lot of people reached out with uh, with options for some quarter window availability. And I was able to get something due to, due to travel. I was in West Virginia when it happened. Matt. Uh, Matt, Matt from Lasik. MPD. Lasik. Yeah. I know who you're okay. talking about. Yeah, Matt we, we know all Matt from MPD. So, <laughs> so he he's friends with a vendor in North Carolina that, that manufactures these windows. Okay, uh, he was able to go pick up a set, and bring it to NPD in Charlotte. And on my way through to uh, Joey's house, I picked them up. Guys, we got some nice carbon fiber pieces in here. And you said in the other Kona, you had a more SN95 setup, right? Yeah, so in the previous car, I, I was able to, one of few able to get the SN95 door panels to work. Uh, the door handles had the SN95 dash in it. I was able to save all that, but I opted to really go back with the Fox Fox look this time. What do you think about having the Fox look back? You got more room. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot more room and it, it flows now with the rear of the car. I was gonna say, do you prefer the look more now? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think there was a time where we all wanted to get away from these, but I feel like now we all kind of want to go back, you know? Yeah, it was a nostalgia thing, I believe. Yeah, so. I completely agree. Yeah, all this stuff, I, I I got a couple buddies up in PA that deal in box body parts, so. Okay. I, you know, and, and was able to get my hands on a lot of this. What about these gauges? Yeah, Florida 5.0, so I reached out to them and had a custom cluster built with the Cobalt C2 gauges, so 
Yeah, look at that. Yeah, they're faint. Well, can't see them too good now, but they are the, the nice dark blue background. Kind of like Hunter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, blue's always been my favorite color, so. Yeah. Well, everybody watching my channel, they give me a hard time. Not that, not everybody, but they say that I need a man blue. Man blue. So, guys, man blue, that's his car. That's kind yeah. of his car. You got a man blue. <laughs> I got a man, I got a man blue. <laughs> They're saying a lot of carbon fiber, so I still need to freshen some of it up. The the first set of, I guess, carbon fiber exterior mirrors were. were yeah, made look by, at this. They were yeah, made by who? Crafted Carbon. Yeah, so he made all this stuff here, and um, he was trying to rush to get it to me for Mustang week, so I still got to do a little bit of finish work on them, but I made the. I made these custom pods, sent them to him, and he, he outlined them in carbon fiber. I think it's Blythe Performance. I made this steering wheel. It's modeled after an old SVO. I would say it looks like an SVO wheel. Oh, but yeah, but look at this. Carbon. Wow. And yeah. you got carbon down here as well. That's real carbon. Redline Performance. I reached out to them, and they were able to make me this shifter boot, the e brake boot, and Alcantara, and red stitching to match the steering wheel. Yeah, that stitching is nice. Yeah. Some modern touches, right? We didn't have that when we first had yeah. these box bodies. Was this. You redid all the interior. Was it originally black interior? And this car? Yeah. Honestly, I can't remember. I, That's right, because you're pulling just, rattlesnake bodies out of it. It was rattlesnake skins. <laughs> getting rattlesnake skins, right? Really. Not, not bodies, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no bodies. It was true, truly a barn find. It, honestly. it was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ernest Miller really hooked me up. If it wasn't for him, then this never would have kicked off. So. That's. That's awesome so that he was able to help you out. And guys, there's the back seat that came out of the original Kona Sting. Yep. Uh, SN95 seat, so. The other car had the Mach 1 style SVO seats with the Cobra bolstered bone. I kind of wanted to keep to the black and gray, so I, I ordered these door panels through CJ Pony Parts for this build. And with the Very nice. Carbo seats also uh, have the gray, gray in them too, around the bolster. Oh yeah, I see that right, right around here. Yeah. That's part of your Holly EFI scissor. That's a Terminator X. That's my secondary screen. So I, I really didn't want to put the dash pod up here. Yeah. The gauge pod up here so I can watch stuff over here like vacuum boost and stuff like that. Air okay. fuel ratio. I just kind of keep a cleaner look in this area. Yeah, because a lot of people will go with a Holly dash on the Terminator X systems. But I like yeah. how you went with the Florida 5.0. For that, I was concerned. I mean, at least when you go with something, you know, a little more factory like this, you, you can have one gauge go bad versus a whole screen. Yep. You know, so it just was, happened to me. I got a Dakota cluster. Guess what? Fuse keeps blowing, so I have, I have nothing. I have yeah, nothing. Yeah, that's my concern. <laughs> so I have something secondary. Alpine Alpine system. There's a spare tire subwoofer in Doubled here. in. That's what I couldn't, where I couldn't think of. All the speakers in here are Infinity Kappa. Okay. Uh, so, so a pretty good sound system then. Yeah, it's really... Sounds good. All right, guys. Uh, we waited long enough. Let's go ahead and hear it fire up. Listen to that 347 push rod. Ciao. likes it. He's a, he's a buddy of mine on the fan of the channel. Yeah, she sounds good. We're also on wireless dumps. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, that sounds a lot better. <laughs> Where does that open up at? Like right after the H-pipe or something? Yeah, or? So this kit, unlike the on three kit that I had, this yeah. kit here, we're running a dual three inch. So okay. now I've got a dump under each. Universal Holly X pipe kit. Oh, it is a Holly X pipe. So, okay. Yeah, because I know it's different with the turbos, how the exhaust yeah. runs. Okay. I cut it and installed that myself and went back to <laughs> Sure you guys heard that but basically the volume of the exhaust was changing because Brian you got what a wireless dump space yeah, QTP wireless dumps so I got one under each seat in the car <laughs> I get a little frisky you know, yeah it, it really changed the sound yeah, I like it it's, it's pretty loud yeah it is it is pretty loud video will never do that justice what are the side splitters and the front splitter and the side skirts are these Carter customs or uh, it's makers oh it's makers, uh, makers okay carbon front and uh, the side skirts okay it looks great on this honestly and I, makers Makers, you watching this? You got a deal, man. You're supposed to be making them carbon fiber ducktails in the back. Let's, let's go. Come on. <laughs> well, but since you did that, makers, if you're watching this, you know, I can use some of those uh, Cobra wheels you just released too. Look, see, I've already got. You need to get the new ones. <laughs> man, yeah. I can try. Anyway, and then the only other thing I wanted to ask you was like, what is this? Like your blood, sweat, and tears, or what is this about? That's absolutely what it is. Yeah. I actually put that on the last build. Did you? Because the last build, I spent a lot of time on it. 
lot of Yeah, how long did it take you to build the last one? I know you didn't go at it as hard. No, but that was an extended build over, over years. Yeah. It just kept evolving and evolving right. and evolving. When I, when I thought I was done, I did this right before Mustang Week. Okay. And I, I double dipped it. It's my first time ever doing any type of hydro graphics. So I double dipped it yeah. with uh, the blood splatter and then the, the parts with the gears inside that kind of just symbolizes you know what I was feeling for the car. And, and look at it now, it's even more on this car, right? Perfectly now yeah. This because I put everything I had in this thing. He really did. You, honestly, you really did. Seriously. So guys, I hope that you're following his Instagram page. Uh, if you're not, check him out. I'll put it up here on the screen. But Brian, amazing job to not only do this after what you went through, but in the time you did it. Yeah. So, eight months. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Thank you for letting me share it here on the channel. And uh, hopefully, hopefully the audio works out. I don't know. I'll do all my magic I can. Can't thank everybody enough for for what they did. I never, I never <laughs> feel a little choked up. I never asked for anything. And I yeah. built it all myself. Yeah. There was a lot of people that reached out to me and offered people that came forward and, and started messaging me is what drove me to do this. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool to see, right? I mean, and but to be fair, you had to do something with that. So they offered to help, but then you actually took the help. You took the parts. You made it happen. Yeah, there's there's a lot of people that have reached out to me with a lot of inspirational stuff that have been going through some challenges because not only did not only was I going through this build and the accident, but I was I was going through taking care of a family member at the same time. And okay. I, death in a family and, and I posted a lot about that too throughout this build yeah. and it triggered a lot of people to reach out to me um, some inspirational messages and uh, even even last night some real nice gentleman was reaching out about how I've helped him through life yeah. just by seeing me being able to accomplish this by setting my heart to it with, with the goals that I set in eight months. And, um, That's one of the cool things about social media right? Is you, there's a lot of bad, but there could be some good like that too. You have impacted people. I know you have. Yeah. Um, been a lot of good and bad through it, but yeah, the the good has really drove me to, to finish this to bring it to the last Mustang. Meet. Yeah, the very last one, and it made it. Yep. So it did. I mean, you're driving around here. So yeah. awesome job, man. Really, seriously. Very much yeah. Appreciate it. And uh, guys, leave him a comment down below what you think about it, you know, as long as it's good. If it's bad, you know, go to somebody else's page. But uh, I'm, I'm proud of it, and uh, I'm proud of him, rather. And I'm just glad I got to see it. So, well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button just for Kona Stang. Doesn't have to help me out, hit it for him. And uh, if you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe, because I got more Mustang Week content video coming for you guys. We'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. I know, right? We are fighting audio issues today. Hopefully this will come out all right. But anyway, Brian, let's go. <laughs> hey, we are at Mustang Week.